William Golding's debut novel, Lord of the Flies, wasn't exactly what you'd call an overnight success. The book was rejected by 20 different publishers before the London publishing house, Faber & Faber, agreed to release it. Though even they kind of seemed a little embarrassed, as they hid the fact they were going to publish the book from their literary advisor, poet T.S. Eliot. But when Eliot was told by a friend that Faber was going to publish a, quote, unpleasant novel about small boys behaving unspeakably, the poet was so worried that he immediately sought out a copy. Though fortunately for Golding, Eliot thought it was a splendid novel. But when the book finally hit shelves in 1954, the general public didn't feel the same way. It only sold 5,000 copies and quickly went out of print. Now that might have been it for Lord of the Flies, but then the story experienced a dramatic climb to relevance thanks to the enthusiastic support of the academic community. And by 1962, it was finally both a critical and commercial success. You know, I guess the book market is its own kind of savage little island, but it couldn't defeat Golding's beast of a novel. But if you haven't read the book for yourself, not to worry, we'll get you started at the link in the description.